So this question is simply a continuation of uh, what we had in our previous class, working with a simple interest, but this time being applied on a higher purchase. So I just want you to understand the basics of a higher purchase. On answering this question, you can actually understand a lot that you can use to apply in answering any question any question of a higher purchase. So a higher purchase, guys, it is uh, uh, actually, you, it is going to use the simple interest because you are buying a certain item or you're, gonna, you're going to purchase a certain item not at the cost price but at a certain value, bigger, because one, you buy a certain item because you have paid a deposit, okay? They give you the item, maybe it's a refrigerator, whatever that you're given, maybe it, mostly home appliances. You get the item. As you are using that item, you will be paying it monthly until the given amount or given time, uh, the time frame, and that amount has to be completed in within that time frame. You see the condition of a higher purchase. So if you are to pay under a higher purchase, meaning to say you are going to pay more than someone who bought something at cost price. Like in this case, we are given, Ruan buys a computer costing 12,000 rand. The cost, the cost price initially, it is 12,000 rand. You was just supposed to pay this amount and get the laptop and get the, the computer. But because of a higher purchase agreement that we are given that, he pays a 20% deposit and then takes out a 24-month higher purchase loan on the balance. Take note, where is it taken? Okay, let's, let's, let's be together here. He takes a 24-month higher purchase loan. So this is a higher purchase that is being taken. This higher purchase is being taken away on the balance, the balance. What do we mean by the balance? After you pay a deposit, there's a balance. You paid a deposit of 20%. There is a balance there. So let's be together here, all right? What is the deposit? Let's start with the deposit. He pays 20% deposit. That is 20%, 20 over 100 to remove the percentage times the amount, the, the cost price that we are given of the, the, the computer. What is the cost price? That's 12,000. So this is our deposit. All right, 20 over 100 times 2,000. So you're going to use, just use your calculator. 20 over 100 uh, times 12,000 was going to give us 2,400. So that's 2,400 rand. This is the deposit. I want you to understand these words, deposit and balance. So the balance is the one that you get after paying the deposit. There is the money that is remaining out of the 12,000, you did not pay everything. You just paid a certain percentage, not everything. So thus, the balance, what is remaining is the balance. After you've paid this deposit, what is it that you are remaining with? So it's the balance on higher purchase. The balance on our higher purchase is 12,000, which is the cost price minus deposit so you're going to subtract the deposit 2400 so it's simply the cost price minus 
the deposit. You have what? Your balance. So in this case, he was going to have a balance of what? If you subtract uh, this 12,000 minus this value, it was going to be 9,600. 9,600. Is the balance that is remaining to be paid over this period of 24 months as we are given there. Remember, for that period, this period of 24 months, remember 24 months, guys, divide by 12. Remember, one year is 12 months, so this is two years. In terms of months, it's 24 months, okay? This is the, and we are just on this understanding. So it's for these 12 months, for these 24 months, I mean, which is two years. No problem. Let's go back to our question. We are not answering the question here. I just want you to understand these terms. Definitely, you need these terms when dealing with IPHS. So once you see IPHS question, it's better that you calculate these ones. Unless if they specify, calculate the deposit. Then after that, mostly exam, they can specify, calculate deposit, calculate balance, then calculate this and that. So... The question is the interest here, which is the interest rate charged on the loan is 12% per annum simple interest. Meaning to say we are using simple interest. So this is it, guys. The question is calculate, that is our question now, is monthly payments. And what he will actually pay for the computer? What is he going to pay? Actually, what is he going to pay for the computer? So let's start with the monthly payments there. Remember, guys, he's supposed to pay over 24 months. So the most mistake that we do is that we take the balance that we see here and we say, okay, because this is the remaining money to be paid, so we're going to divide by 24 months. No, this is wrong. The balance that we are seeing here is to be repaid as a loan. You have to repay it as a loan. Remember, you are using the item. You are already having the computer, but you haven't finished it to pay it. So it comes out as a loan. So as you pay back, you are not going to pay back this amount. If you take a loan, you don't pay back that loan the way that you took it. You pay more. It comes with an interest, a loan. So that loan that you are going to pay is the one that they told us is what? Under a simple interest as we are given uh, on our question. So you're going to answer, calculate the amount using what? This 12%, remember, guys, I talked about this on a simple interest video. This one is the rate, the percentage there. We are given the rate as a percentage, which is our R. And I said the number of years on that formula. Uh, N represent the number of years. So 24 months divided uh, by 12 is two years. The balance is your principal. That balance that you see there is going to be your P, your principal. So we can calculate the accumulated amount when you pay a loan. That is how you pay a loan. So it means amount. Remember, under simple interest formula, I said amount is equal to P into 1 plus NR over 100. Simple interest formula. So A is equal to amount is, I mean, the P is the what? The balance. That's our P. What is our balance? 9,600. Okay, so it's going to be 9,600 into uh, 1 plus N, the number of years, two years, not the months. There you use the years. How many years? That's two times the rate at that interest. It was increasing at 12%. So that's over 12, uh, that's times 12 over 100. So this was going to give us the amount, which is the accumulated amount to say he is going to pay this at the end of the day, at the end of the each month. I mean, at the end of the whole period of these two years, this is what he is going to pay. 
which was going to be from your calculator, guys. I talked about using a calculator here. So make sure you use the calculator properly. That's 11904. Uh, this is what you're going to have. That is what is going to pay. Instead of paying this 9,600, I'm talking about the balance that you are supposed to pay, guys. Remember, here you paid already a deposit, this one. We are not talking about this deposit now. We are talking about the balance that you are supposed to pay. You are supposed to pay this balance. But because it's a loan, he's going to pay it as what? 11,904. That is what he's going to pay over a period of two years. But this is not our question. The question is, let's go back to our question because there are two questions here. The first question is, Calculate his monthly payments, monthly, each and every month, each and every month. In these two years, which is 24 months, what is he going to pay monthly? Guys, this is what he's paying in two years as a balance. But it is now having an interest inside. In 24 months, that is what he's supposed to pay monthly, each and every month, each and every month. So therefore, his monthly uh, repayments will be, so monthly he is going to pay what? So therefore, monthly he is going to pay this divide by 24. Remember, it's 24 months. Each month, we want to know how is how, how much to be paid each, 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 each. If this is the total for the 24 months, what about each month? So is the amount that you are given divide by the number of months, how many months? 24. So that is it. All right. So you are going to obtain the monthly from there. 11,904 divided by 24 was going to be 496. All right. So this was going to give us 496 rent. That is what is going to be paid monthly to repay back that loan. He's going to pay this amount each and every month, each and every month, each and every month for two years, for 24 months. Remember, two years, that's 24 months. Okay, so that's our first question. The second question uh, was to calculate also, take note here, they said the monthly payments end, end, what he will actually pay for the computer, everything in total. That is a higher purchase, you always pay more. Okay? Remember what he paid, this guy. Okay, so here we answer the first question. So now we answer another question. I'm just going to call number two. So the total amount, this time we are calculating it as the total amount, what he paid in total so i'm just gonna call it total amount paid the first thing that this guy paid was a deposit a deposit you pay this one it is being paid he paid a deposit of 2400 that was the first thing for him to be given that computer just for for him to be granted to say now use this computer he paid 2,400 rand. Then, instead of him paying 9,600 to, to get uh, the balance, to, 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 I mean, to get rid of this balance, he did not pay this one. No. But instead, he paid it as a loan over this period of time. This is what he paid, 11,904. So this is what you're going to take, 11,904. We are not going to take the monthly there, 11,904. The monthly is on its own. Monthly is what you are paying each and every month. But in total, this is what he paid back as he was paying 496 monthly. Remember, he was paying this 496 monthly. For a period of how many? For a period of twenty-four months, you end up paying this amount. So you take the total, add to the deposit. Remember the deposit, 
So it's simply deposit plus what? Deposit plus the loan. As you pay back the loan, it comes, it, you pay it with an interest. So that was the condition of our question. All right. So that was it, guys. Uh, 2,400. Uh, we add 11,904, which was going to give us 14,000. So it was going to be 14,304 in total. This is what he was going to pay. Instead of paying what? According to this, initially the computer was being sold for 12,000 cash price, cost price, 12,000. But under a higher purchase, because you paid a deposit, the remaining balance is being paid back as a loan. So it will be more than what you were supposed to pay before. It's because of this. Then after that, the monthly amount is on its own. For you to know, okay, this is how am I going to repay the loan? I'm going to pay. 496 rand each and every month, each and every month for 24 months. That's how you repay a higher purchase. So a higher purchase uses what? Simple interest. We are back to the in simple interest formula. How do you calculate the accumulated amount under simple interest formula? Remember, we had, we had a class about this formula. So make sure if you do not understand this, Go back to the simple interest formula. Uh, simple interest. Uh, understand that one first before working with the IPHS. So these are the typical questions that you might be given. We shall work with more question papers uh, later on uh, so that we see how are they going to be asking these questions and also going to look into compound interest. Yeah, there's another part of the compound interest. So we shall see, guys, as time moves on.